We're here on Sugar Loaf Road and the Sugar Loaf Baptist Church is two miles. We're gonna do a little little back road driving today. So about a week or so ago, we were up at the top of Bluff Mountain, and today we're kind of kind of cruise around the base of Bluff Mountain. We're gonna look for some some barns, you know, some little little gems. You never know what you're gonna find on these back roads. Maybe even a classic car. A beautiful little barn and a silo. A little horse farm. For the love of God, please stop dumping. And then there's a sign above it says, if you can read this, you are in range. Oh boy, I mean somebody... <laughs> Does that mean a gunshot thing? Or? Yeah, pretty much. That's what happens on these back roads. You definitely don't want to trespass out here. some some coon dogs or something back there <laughs> yeah, this is the sugar loaf Baptist Church I've been driving by that sign for years and just wanted to check out the church huh here's an old farm here it says, beware of dog, security cameras, and it is private property, but I love that old Tennessee home. Look at that. And uh, there's a, a barn up here and some, some silos. Oh, I love that old truck. Old Ford. Of course, uh, there's a barn over here. And those old silos that are made out of brick are... are and you can see the top of Bluff Mountain up there. We were just up there the other day by the those antennas. And there's the old farmhouse on the hill. Definitely an old Tennessee home. It's got a wraparound porch. I love, love the wraparound porches. Those houses there are shaped like teepees. You see that? Mm -hmm. It does look like a teepee. Mm -hmm. Beautiful mountain views though. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful horse farm here. That's a very unique barn too. It's got a patchwork quilt. Now there's an old cantilever style barn there. Wow, it's got a Dairy Queen sign. <laughs> I thought that was a Dairy Queen sign. Uh, Dairy Queen sign. It's a pretty big, pretty big barn. We're now here in Walden's Creek, which is just outside of Pigeon Forge. Not too far, a few miles. And we're gonna go into a Whaley's Country Store. They sell Amish goods, uh, bulk food, meats and cheeses. So it's, it's technically an Amish store in a way. Right here, just outside of Pigeon Forge. <laughs> oh yeah, so a little, little fun little pick for the family. And they have some benches outside. 
that you can sit at. But let's head in and see what this is about. We've been here before, but you know, now I'm thinking, I don't think we've ever made a video here. So let's, let's check it out. Yeah, they got some popcorn. They have blue popcorn for $3.99 a bag. Of course you have baby white and they have all your oils and buttery toppings. Yeah, they have a, a Whaley's Country Store hat. It says Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Yeah, they even have a Great Smoky Mountains. A very nice hats. That root beer, black cherry, orange cream, vanilla cream. They even have your, your late one here. Zero sugar ones. Uh, Kentucky Swamp Water. They have all your southern favorites. That cheer wine. Of course, the late one again. Here are some Amish goods here. They have some cheese curds. They have a Cajun, a garlic dill, and a white. So they have some Lebanon bologna there. They have Troyer's uh, ring bologna. They have Yoder's strawberry jam, walnut creek almond butter, and all kinds of jams and jellies in here. Smoky Mountain Farms peach preserves. That cran jelly, orange pineapple, elderberry, some honey jelly. I've never heard of honey jelly. That actually sounds really good. And then, of course, you got some Smoky Mountain honeys, some sorghum, hemp dog chews. <laughs> sounds weird. Yeah. <laughs> Valentine's Day is on its way. I love that radio flyer wagon there. Now, there's nothing like the Smoky Mountains than a braided rug. Very iconic to the area. There's no place like the mountains. And Bigfoot doesn't believe you either. I think we found a shirt for Dawn there. Very, very true. I got different types of cheeses here. I have never seen a cup like that before. It shows Dollywood, Elkmont, just different places in the in the park. It shows Pigeon Forge up there, the island and the wheel. Even Townsend doing a little little floating. It says the Great Smoky Mountains. On the opposite side, they want ten dollars for it. I have never seen this before either. They want $50. It's it's a music book or something. Hymns. They even have old-fashioned whisk brooms there. Right made right here in the mountains. In fact, these are these are handmade uh, by the the Ogle family since 1920. Pretty cool country store. I think there's more country than there is Amish. They do have Amish stuff in there, but not a lot. But it's a really cool store. I highly recommend come out check it out. We're out near Weirs Valley in a little area called Little Cove. And uh, they have this very unique church. It's got a huge steeple on it. And there's some views up here. The little cove. Yeah. Building a couple new cabins in here. Yeah, there's an old barn over there. Looks like it's seen better days. Kind of leaning. Huh. Looks like it's newer. It's got a newer foundation. So I've never been out in these parts. 
This is called Laurel Lick Road. And uh, when the roads start getting tighter, it means you're more rural than ever. Uh, and there's a covered wagon on the side of the road here. Here's an old mountain home here. It's got that metal roof. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Horse. <laughs> oh, there's even a donkey over there. And a little red barn on top of the the hill there. Huh. And we're not too far out of Pigeon Forge. He's so fluffy and cute. He is. He is. He's looking right at us. Hee-haw! Hee-haw! Hi guys, out there eating your hay. There's a pretty white horse. This place is called Honeysickle Hills, a fairy tale in the making. Hello. There are signs that say, please do not feed the horses. <laughs> uh, pretty cool. Nice little nice little place. Look at those um, mailboxes. Uh, Icicle Hills, a fairy tale in the making. Uh, must be some kind of maybe stable of some sort. There's a pretty red barn. So, yeah, I think it's some kind of like riding stable or something. It's called the office. It's their office. Uh, Copperhead. You never know what you'll find on the back roads. And we're back out here in, in Pigeon Forge. So it's always a blast driving through the back roads. Uh, there was a couple roads we've never taken today. Uh, a couple dead ends. There's one that we kind of went forever and then it did end. Actually, it happened quite a few times, didn't it? There's quite a few. <laughs> uh, so what did you think about the uh, little country store? It was nice. Yeah, it was cool. We have a lot of different things in there. Yeah, we got to see some horses. There's a lot of horses mm -hmm. on these back mountains, I noticed. And a donkey. And a donkey and some goats. We did see some, some goats. goats. Yeah. But um, anyway, it was a good time. I highly suggest coming out and just, you know, doing some back road cruising. Uh, we got some cool things coming up or uh, ex excited about. And uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. Folks, that's going to do it for today here in the Great Smoky Mountains. If you guys like this vlog, give, give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, if you haven't, Please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.